doing some beam work in the yard, I'll show you how it's all done. Uh, I'll just go over what beams are used for first. So if you had like a conservatory in the middle, you'd use the beams, you'd build a tower up either side, use the beams to spam over the gap in the middle, or you can also use beams to like truss out and then punch up and then go over the top of like the end of a roof or something like that. Uh, so yeah, beam work, it's not too bad to do as long as you set it all up right, do it all properly. Um, yeah, it's good. Jumpers, what do we all think? Them. Right, so let's have a look at this. So to start with, we'll get what's called um, the tie tubes, or lace tubes, whatever you want to call them. We get them in every metre on the top cord, two metres on the bottom. I'll run you through how to do that. The next thing then we've got to do is get fan braces from these uprights all the way along. And then you've got what's called a knee brace. So it goes from the bottom cord to the top cord, like that, all the way along. Um, so every two metres on them, and then every two metres on the bottom tie cord, one metre on the top tie cord. Right, I'll bring you over here and I'll show you how to set up my tie tube. Right, what I do here, look, I get a double like this. So this is already a set measurement for four boards. So I get the doubles on. Like this. Make sure it's central. I don't do the bottoms up. I just nip these up. So I always start from the point where we're closest. Otherwise you start going out. So your labor will make all these up. I'll do one more. Like so. And that's it then, you put the bottoms out, your labor will pass that over. So the reason you want to go from here is because if there's any warp in the beams, you want to make sure that these, this measurement goes all the way along so your bores all fit. So once you've made all these up, top cord every metre, bottom cord every two. So don't forget to put them underneath because your trannies are on top and then your boards on top of that. So this goes underneath here and these go every metre on the top cord every metre. And then you put this one. Goes a meter off that. Like so. that starting them there was silly and to just put them in as you go and just do them all up but when you're there you've got the measurement already set so if you just make them all up in the same spot you know that measurement then carries all the way through the beams and it won't be looking like a wavy mess so start there set all your tubes up bring them across put them all in obviously if you set them up before it means you can't use it you don't have to use the open enders and stuff which helps and it means your boards will definitely fit at the end. So yeah, they are important. The plan braces are going to go from these uprights, boom, boom, and you need to check down the beam, just make sure it's all running straight. 
this, this is obviously strokes from the yard. So, eight foot tubes. Easiest way. Throw it in there. Here's your palm brace off your upright over to your upright and again over and then over so the only thing left to put in now is knee braces so i'll set the camera up again and we'll put the knee braces go from either side bottom to top make sure they all go the same way and these are difficult to get in you got to find a spot between all the other stuff to squeeze them in. 
Right, we'll give that a go then. They've got to go every two meters, same as the bottom. Let's get them in. So you want to be as close to these as you can, because that's your strength point. So mine is going to go... This one, this one's gonna have to go in here so. So yeah, they're, they're your knee braces. They stop the beam going like this. Keep it all solid together. So I'll put the last two of them in. Somewhere in the middle, we've got to put all this in to build over it to go up then. So if you're on like a chair, oh, so you're off it, like. yeah, so then you build off this ah. and keep going up. So, like, the, that's what all these beams are for now. Ah, this is it. Hell, yeah, solid, isn't it? That's what all this is. It's all plan braced and strength. Uh, how, how much weight do you have? Yeah, yeah. Just like that. yeah so that's. <laughs> You've got to get it all tied together so it doesn't move out. And then you can put these in to stop it wobbling that way. And then these are well, that, that, look, that looks short, shorter than that. That looks longer than that. That's not. How much weight down? Loads. Ten ton? No. That's it then. Got they're the knee braces, plan braces, tie tubes. All in. So that's how you'd set up. For your beams and that's how you do the the strength of the beam all you do then throw your trannies on top boards on top of that and then your punchings go from the top cord to the bottom cord obviously like normal every two meters so that's all simple enough so yeah that's that's how you do beams It's a lot to cram in such a small little area. Like you got all that there. That there. And then obviously you can imagine if you put a fan or something on this then, it makes it even harder. And then you've got to get your trannies on. Like this. There it is, look. Straight. Straight as you can get. Because of the measurements, it's all bang on. So right, I'll rip this down now then, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Ta-da.